Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Leo for love and relationship and career for the month of January 2023. Happy New Year. I'm going to read the love first, then the career at the end. Someone who's approaching you that you know already and that relationship that you tried harder with before. And it sounds like you know, that relationship did not really succeed the whole way. Um, you are trying to walk away from this relationship as much as you can. And it sounds like you know, that you are afraid, if some of you are afraid to walk away completely 100% and cut it off as you state, okay, I'm going to divorce this person. Or I'm going to walk away from this person, but you are not doing it. Um, but I get here a lot of you walking away and changing your direction about someone that slow you down, did not work. But you will be happy. I see you happy with it, you know. Um, but some of you are still like, you no, know, really walked away from someone, but not walked away really. As you say... I'm not going to be with this person anymore. I don't want this person anymore. But you are kind of like... You're still stuck in your mind. Emotions, feelings. It's restricting you. This is not the time to be in restrictions. Because you are going to be really like doing really a lot this month. And you're going to succeed about whatever you do. A person, a relationship, I get here holding on you. It could be like you know, a husband or a wife. And I get here, they are trying to smooth the way for you. And it's it tells me here that uh, uh, they want really like, you know, to talk to you, express their love to you, to be there for you. And I get here, you are trying to be there for that person too. But emotionally, you are holding on some relationship that set you back. It could be some relationship on the side. Um, it sounds here that the person in relationship with you in commitment at this time, like, you no, know, it feels that he or she is trying to brief to you, like, you know, how much they care for you and love you and, and want really to work things out between you two. But in the same time, I get here, they can really come across really ugly about something that you do behind their back. You might get caught with something. Be careful, like, you no, know, don't try to... Come out of your way and talk to another person behind your spouse because it can get very ugly. It's not good. You're going to try to be really like you know, covering for yourself, maybe a child that you have in the home and try to say that, you know, they misunderstood and... But they know. So you don't have to bother, but be careful. It can really like to turn the love into a hate and bad emotions with the spells. Yeah. It says here, try not to cheat. Not to cheat. A person that you love really very much, and I get here you had a setback with, like you know, not the spell, someone else, and it sounds to be that this person went away or travel or relocate or want like you know, somewhere else, it could be like you know, a trip like you know, far away from you, this person is going to try to come back, but you want to walk away from this person actually, but you are in love with that person, even though that you say, I want to walk away from that person, you, you get yourself like you're still spying on them, wants to know what's going on with them, you go and contact them, you go and really do like you know, something out of your way, and it's really turning not really very good. And that person is not really treating you right because they feel that you did them wrong yourself. 
there is a big misunderstanding conflict in that relationship that is making you mentally tired, emotionally unhappy, even though that you love this person very much. The spouse or like, you know, current really committed relationship that you live in, I get here this person is trying to help you with their best ability. Financially, materially, and emotionally too. And I get here that you are co-independent financially on this current person or you will walk away a long time ago. And I get here that you rush into decisions sometimes, but it feels to you that you are getting other there is a new love. Either the, the current person that you want to walk away from that comes back to you, the one who you had on the side, they will renew the love with you and you will, it will make you happy. Happy and happy in the same time. Be careful. Be careful of that spells. They are just waiting for you to make a mistake. Hmm. It's like they are watching you. Be careful. Hmm. And some of you are getting a brand new relationship that will make you really very happy also. Like, you know, that... Uh, but you don't want to mess up with the current person that you need or co-independent on. Okay? Unfinished business with new beginnings, like, you know, love, a relationship, going out, having fun, having a great time. And it sounds to be also like, you know, that you need really to get along with the home front, mostly to focus on the home front at this time. Like, you know, whoever in your home, like, you know, you are in a kind of relationship, committed relationship, you have to focus on it. Even if you have to, because this is the best that you can do right now. It's a distraction from a painful, other painful relationship. It's really not to be in a problem if you rely on the person financially. Also, in that relationship, you need to stay focused, fully focused, not to make mistakes. Be careful about mistakes because that's get, it can get really ugly. Other times you get caught before, but this time is going to be really, really bad because you are kind of like... You try to lie about it, but it's not going to be really good. The person like, you know, oh yeah, and this time this. So, mm -mm. But other than that, the other person wants you, want to be with you. You are making up, but every time you promise yourself not to try harder with this relationship, you still stuck on it because you have been in it for a long time. So if you are sincere about walking away from the other relationship, they tell you here that to take your time not to pressure yourself uh, because immediately you feel like, you know, I need to go back. I need to talk to that person. Even it has been really doing you very badly. A new relationship in the uh, home front, I, I see like, you know, it's going to be really bringing you joy better than the old ones if you are seeking someone else outside your home here. Um... It looks to me sometimes you rush into doing things and you make mistakes like, you know, with lovers and you try to come out of your way and approach that relationship very fast, very quick. So they tell you here to be patient, not to jump a rush into uh, like, like you work on your impulse. For example, I miss that person. I, uh, I can feel them. I'm going to go and... Uh, and try with them even if it didn't work before you still want to try um, it says here that you keep want to try with something that failed I'm not talking about the current relationship the one you love on the side you tried and you tried and you invest time and energy with it and as soon as you miss them a little bit you go and try again do not invest time like no and try again and again because no matter what you try, the person is the person like you no know, he or she, still the same. It's not gonna change and it's not gonna bring you like you no know, so much joy and happiness like it has been before. So they tell you here that don't rush, focus on the new or focus on your home at this time or what's going on in your home. 
But other than that, he will be happy along the run. But this month, avoid like, you know, really confrontation and avoid like, you no know, rushing into decisions. Let's see about your work and career. Mm -hmm. Work and career, how is it going to be? Yeah, if you try so hard with someone in the past, like you know a lot, don't stop trying. Maybe they will try with you, and that will be really better. Why you are the one who's trying so much? No, let me do it this way. Let me talk about it this way. Maybe let me do this. And that enough of you trying. Okay. For money and career for this month, for January 2023, for Leo. Let's see. Money and career and work and business, it doesn't matter anything. Your heart is open. You have the confidence for work. You have the confidence for new ideas. You thought about a business. You thought about like, you know, how are you likely to do a new ideas in it? An end of like no restrictions for you and you beginning with success. You are out of your way, like you know, you want to do it. You are kind of like plans, wishes has been like you no know, really in your thought or and things like you no know, that you think thought about ideas. Um I get here that you were restricted before. That's before you were restricted. You didn't know how to put it on paper and now no, nothing stop you. You are doing it, you are lucky. And I get here, you are ongoing, financially secure, trying to bring the money. You are good with money situation, but yeah, there is, if you are in partner in business, it seems to be the other person is not supportive. Even like you, know, you are motivated and you want to do things and you want to succeed and nothing is stopping you. You are succeeding. You are lucky no matter what you do, but you will you might really have a conflict with a partner that they are not supportive like you know they they are harsh with their words like you know they are not really welcoming ideas they are not really trying that's the only thing that is really stopping you from attaining your goal with a new project if you have a partner but if you are working for yourself you will succeed you will keep on going and it's going to be a really very good business for you and it shows to me here that, you know, something that you learned from the past, from other people also, I get here, you want really like, you know, to be dashing into the unknown and do it, and you're going to succeed too. Especially if you are working on the internet, I get here, businesses are going to go very well for you also. Um, I get here that working alone is better, like, you know, having your own business alone instead of a partner. And I get here that... You will keep on going. There is a new love for you. I get that again. Don't doubt yourself. And if the person like me did not really work very well with you in a relationship before, it's not all of it your fault. Like, you know, it seems to be the other person is stuck on their mind and their ways. That's why you had a hard time. But success, love, all around you. Don't worry about anything. Just don't be irrational about love or really just rush into decisions and you will succeed let them try with you harder like you know, instead of you like you know, keep trying and that will be really making you very happy along the run thank you for watching and if you need a private reading please contact me the link for my website is below this video mysticalaziza.com after you click on my uh, reading prices uh, please uh, Purchase your reading, then give me a call, and the phone number is listed on the website. So everything you need is in the description box below this video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.